Hello and welcome to Magazine's Fun Time. This is Magazine and we are back here on Star Trek Online. This is going to be our Let's Play of um, Temple Agent. Um, there's a special event going on during the uh, Star Trek Day. Uh, if you start a Temple Agent and you go and get your uh, communicator through the through the system and finish the territorial, you can... Uh, you get special rewards and, and stuff uh, playing through the Temporal Agent. It's called Temporal Agent Event. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below so you guys can read a little bit about it. We're going to play through that, but we're going to finish our solo shuttle challenge first. I just want to get to where I can actually get the actual communicator and we are actual commun uh, Temporal Agents to make sure that we actually get to do all of the special uh, rewards and stuff for it. I have played through this once, but I don't believe it was on the channel. I'm not sure about that. Um, but last episode, uh, Daniels told us he wanted to talk to us about uh, this mission. And uh, he was in his thing, and I couldn't find him. So we're just going to start this. Hopefully, it takes us to his room. That's all I can, all I can see about that. All right. Yes. Okay. I appreciate your patience. I'm what's known as a temporal agent. It's my job to preserve the timeline. You helped me stop one temporal incursion at K-13. There's been another at Babel, and I could use your help with it. Welcome to the temporal ready room. I use it to monitor the timeline. The Nakul have sent agents to a critical point in time. We believe they disrupted the Babel Conference in 2268 aboard the USS Enterprise. I want to send you back there to stop them. You'll be sent back to a point shortly before the conference begins. I'm sending one of our best temporal agents along. I believe you've met. Nice to see you again. It's been some time. For me, at least. For you, I see hardly any time has passed at all. It must be strange to see me looking... Uh, Older. Once you're on Enterprise, deal with the Nakul and make sure the conference proceeds as planned. You'll have a temporal transponder, which will allow me to communicate with you and bring you back. You'll also have these bioscanners. They're short range, but will detect Nakul agents nicely. Do the job right, and no one will know we were there. So, let's just talk to Daniels. Let's the talk situation Daniels. at Babel shouldn't be happening. Something in the past has changed, and not for the better. Uh, we'll make it right. Transport to Enterprise. Talk to Captain Chuckup. Let's begin by using Enterprise's sensors to look for signs of our time-traveling friends. The computer won't have any details on the Nakul, so you'll need to recalibrate the sensors manually on the bridge. I'll take care of Oh, it. and one more item to be aware of. Ensign Pavel Chekov is currently on duty on the bridge, which is why I will be remaining here out of sight. As much as I would like to visit the bridge again, two of me in the same place would raise questions neither of us wants to answer. Understood. I'll leave my officers here with you, just in case. Let's get to work. I will check with you again after you are done on the bridge. I haven't worn this uniform for some time. It's a little... snug. <clears throat> nice work. I'm getting some readings from Deck 11, but I can't pinpoint them. Some sort of interference. We'll need to get close and scan by hand. Start with the mess hall. There are a lot of people coming and going there. Right. Heading to Deck 11 now.
Vulcan, I would speak to you. It does seem unavoidable. How do you vote on the Corridon in mission? Senses are showing that one of the delegates is leaving the lounge. Follow him. He might be trying to slip out before you can get a scan. I'm on it. He won't get far. Is there something I can help you with? Mm, I was about to ask you the same thing. The meeting is taking place in the lounge, Ambassador. Yeah. Oh. Should I be concerned? It was my understanding that the transporter filters out biohazards. We're being especially thorough, Ambassador. For everyone's safety. You understand, I'm sure. Of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Have a pleasant evening, Ambassador. That's what you... That's what you call sneaky. Let me chuck up in the armory. Looks like they're on the move, though I'm still getting a lot of false readings on the sensors. Let's keep checking the deck. Like the old Russian saying goes, two heads are better than one. Right, let's head back to the junction and collect some readings. Being here takes me back. It was quite a different time for Starfleet. There he is. Wait, that's Ambassador Gal. One down, unlikely more to go. There's nothing we can do for Ambassador Gal, unfortunately. Memory serves. Captain Kirk was attacked next on deck five. Let's move out before we are too late. Of course not. Can't see these stupid things. Yeah, this way. The captain's wound is serious. He'll bleed out if we don't help him. Stabilize him quickly. Dr. McCoy will be here shortly to finish the job. Leave it to me. Good. It looks like the captain is stabilized. We need to move. I've detected Nakul technology in engineering. We'll stop them there. Table of the engineer. Someone sent a bomb in here. I cannot defuse it and keep the mains online at the same time. Wait, Chekhov, is that you? You look older than me, laddie. And you, the last time I saw you was on Darzana Station. Something was dodgy then, and it's more than a wee bit dodgy now. It's complicated, Scotty. We've been sent back in time to keep the Enterprise from being destroyed. Aliens are trying to alter the future of the Federation. There's no time to explain. You have to trust us, old friend. We're here to help. All right, lad. You can start by helping me keep this ship from blowing to pieces and get rid of that bloody bomb, if you can. Just tell us what you need us to do, Scotty. Uh, Divert power to the number two shield.
Not that one. Divert power to the number two shield. What the heck? For power to number two shield. Divert power to the number two shield. Good Got work. It. Now check on that bomb. Just gonna use F. Auxiliary power to engines. Auxiliary power to engines, that's over here. Good work. Now check on that bomb. <laughs> this is stupid. Repair teams, the deck 19. Repair to deck 19. Good work. Now check on that bomb. The captain's ordering me to cut the power? Uh, I see what he's about. That got him. We can't disarm this bomb, but we need to get to that Orion ship anyway. We can take it with us. Why not just beam it into space? We can't let that ship be captured. It has dangerous technology on it. Scotty, I need you to trust me. That ship needs to be destroyed. You can't tell anyone what happened here. It could damage the timeline irreparably. Besides, I'm captain now, so I technically outrank you. All right, lad. I'll take you at your word. Once you're ready, I'll send you and that bomb over. Aim to the orange ship. Good luck to you. Energizing. Now, what's this? The Orions will lock down their ship. We need to override their security systems. What the heck? Here we go. There's something here. Got them in here. Excuse me. I'm going to try to attach the bomb to the Orion ship's engine controls. I'll need you to cover me. See if you can hold them at the doorway so they can't shoot me in the back. Okay. Well. Get him. So, I found out what was the problem with the last episode. Um, my cable company. Stop it. My cable company was working on the internet while I was doing recording. So, I f actually finished it right before they cut the internet off. Yeah. 
The bomb is in place. Not much time left. We need to get... That was close. I'm glad I got you out of there in time. You're both valuable agents. Of course, no one will know what you've done today, with the exception of Commander Scott. That being said, this won't be the strangest thing he'll see in his career. Not by a long shot. It might make our next meeting a little awkward. Indeed. Comes with the job, I'm afraid. In the meantime, I can send you and Captain Chekhov back to your respective timelines when you're ready. Thank you, Daniels. That was quite an adventure. I think you have the makings of a fine temporal agent, my friend. As good as it was to see Enterprise again, I have other duties to attend to. We're preparing for a very serious event, the Battle of Procyon V. That conflict will determine the... Ah, but you don't need to worry about that now. Enjoy your time on the frontier of yesteryear, a time that will never come again. True. Thanks for everything, Captain. Until next time. Return to Sector. That's it! A lot could have gone wrong today. We could have lost critical figures in history. Sarek of Vulcan, James Kirk, and the crew of the Enterprise. The list is long. However, the timeline was preserved, thanks to you and Captain Chekhov. The Babel Conference proceeds as planned, and Korridan is admitted to the Federation. Well done. I'll continue to monitor the timeline for incursions. I hope I can count on you again when the time comes for action. So, deflector and a console. All damage resistance. Oh, and an off tactical officer? Hmm. Where'd the Telerite? Congratulations, Lieutenant. Not now. So. Things are heating up with the Tholians. Monitor stations are detecting large fleet movements toward Federation space, and they're refusing all of our diplomatic hails. We're doing all we can to prevent a war, but it's not looking good. I want you to join a task force I'm assembling. If this goes south, I want my best people on the front line when it does. Except. Stay safe out there. So, let's, uh... Did you upgrade anybody? The Federation shouldn't be having significant issues with the Tholians at this point in time. I've been scanning the timeline and I think I've found the problem. Two years ago, a Tholian colonial fleet was destroyed. The Tholians blamed the Federation, and increasing hostilities have ultimately led us here. This is something I'll need your help to correct. Okay. Um... I've pinpointed the incident in question. Setting temporal transponder back two years. We need to correct the timeline during the Defiance Here encounter with the Tholians. Put that on. Put that on. There we go. We're getting some gear. Yeah. So. I think that's covered for today. If you guys like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this episode, you want to share it with your friends, tell me what you like it. The share tab down below. Click on the share tab. Copy the link. Uh, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings for the channel. Use the notification bell. I will see you guys on the next episode. Uh, I will be doing recordings this weekend. I'm going to post another one Sunday, try to get these knocked out and uploaded so that on Monday we can start back with our solo uh, shuttle challenge and get that knocked out. And then we'll, we'll circle back around to finishing off, excuse me, this Let's Play. Uh, anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later.